Sheffield is a very hilly city. Oh my gosh, we want to see the cows. We want to see our it. cows. <laughs> our cows are deep. Our cows oh, are man. strong. Literally, you're walking uphill everywhere you're going. If you want to work <laughs> on your fitness, come to the University of Sheffield. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Aviva here, and today I have my friend Savannah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> And so today we're doing a quick review of the University of Sheffield and we just thought we'd give our perceptions, what we think about the university for any new students who is coming in. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get into it. So what is the first question we have? My first question is basically choosing the university. So why did you choose Sheffield Abiba? Um, I chose this university because I looked at the list of top 10 unis. <laughs> I needed my fifth Let's option. Let's be honest now. I went on the lead tables. I looked at my fifth option and it was the University of Sheffield. Okay. And I picked it thinking, I'm never going there. What am I doing up in the north? And here I am. Serious? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And why did you pick the University of Sheffield? Well, it's a long story. But to quit it short, I took a gap year. We're in the gap year, I got to visit universities. It's yeah, Sheffield was decent. Basically tables like you said. Yeah. But essentially it was one of those things where it was like, okay, so to keep, you know, preferably mom would like me to stay in Birmingham and stay at home. But She's from I need Rome, to, if you haven't heard if you, if you didn't catch it yet already, I needed somewhere that was within, within a two hour radius. So I had I'm space, Birmingham. but also I could come back like contact. easily. Exactly. exactly. And also just somewhere that was different to Brum. So like it sounds mad, but different cities have different cultures. Just to, just to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. And again, like Abiba said, it was tables, it but was, we'll speak about yeah. that later. You're coming from London to Sheffield. It is... <laughs> so many Londoners ask me, where is Sheffield? It's, it's a different ball game because right here, you see all that diversity that you're seeing in London, where everyone is from everywhere. It depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from London, you're gonna think it's not diverse here, but people from other parts of like England, they really find Sheffield so, so diverse. I'm from Birmingham and because it's very multicultural, Sheffield shocked me. Yeah, exactly. Because I literally, I came here with my mom. Uh, the only other black person I saw was my mom. And so, <laughs> my mom. I'm not even joking, the whole day. I think a lot could be done more within the university itself in terms of diversity, mm. but it's an okay, diverse place, honestly. The university say they're very diverse, which it depends on how you look at the it. Posters, the posters, they say something. <laughs> the posters, yeah. <laughs> they have this array, array of black people there. And you're thinking, mm, I'm coming. This is this is little <laughs> London, I'm coming. Don't be, don't be too ecstatic because right here it is I guess not, that's the purpose of the I guess, doing yeah. that. Book. We're a very small minority, so if you're coming from anywhere apart from London, Birmingham, Manchester, just don't miss the plan. Don't I miss remember the though, the uni population is different from the local, local population. population, exactly. And, but as, if you like, hopefully branch out and get to know people who are actually from Sheffield, yeah. you will meet like much more, um, yeah, you know, definitely. people from different backgrounds. But there, are, there are definitely like aspects of like black culture, Jamaican culture mm. in Sheffield, which is really good. We're gonna plug you with all the places to go if you wanna get your ackee and salt Absolutely. fish, your plantain, your not fried dumpling. What did you I say? Plantain, she not meant plantain. plantain. I'm so sorry. She meant we're just gonna she vlog you with all the places that we <laughs> need to go at Sheffield. So Next we've got accommodation. For first years, Sheffield's kind of renowned for having the student villages. The most popular ones is Encliffe um, Village, and then you've got Radmore, which yeah. is literally a five minute walk. And both of them together are about 25 minute walk from the uni. It depends yeah. what building you're going to, but like the main student's union. But the point being, um, Encliffe is apparently more popular. Ramore is a bit quieter, but yeah. the, like I said, they're five minutes away, so you're really not missing the yeah, the amazing flat parties that are. They all live in kind of like it's like a room of like five, for example. You're gonna have five black mates or yeah, six. six, sometimes ten actually. Yeah, it's mad. It's <laughs> <The> mad. <girl>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it really depends on how money you have, what you're willing to pay, mm -hmm. and also it's just. Some people go there for like the student experience. I didn't live in I didn't live in student accommodation. So why did you pick where you went? So basically, I knew what my student finance was. So student finance, if you don't know, it's a grant that you get from the government. So they give you one of the few things that they do. <laughs> one of the few <laughs> things that they're doing well. So <laughs> basically, you get money from the government to assist you with like your uni, like in terms of accommodation or like mm. spending money. So I knew from early on that my student finance was going to be low. But I thought I definitely can't pick accommodation on campus because 
if I chose accommodation of campus, I'll literally have zero piece left and I wasn't about to be broke. You so do have to be practical like, exactly. to your situation. Yes. I chose private accommodation, which cost me considerably lower to people in Enclave and Ranmore. Of course, it's great to go there. You're in close proximity to people, which is cool, but... Depends what you're into. Like, if exactly. you really want to be going to, you know, that stereotypical freshers, partying, yeah. making friends. Um, personally, I realised I don't like it very much. So I don't didn't like want to hear a party every... I would have liked to actually be maybe away and come. But then at the same time, I made some friends in really, like... Um, random circumstances because of like um trying to get to know people that live near you which yeah. is nice but again um people are mad they are so you're not gonna you remember people, you're not choosing people, who you're living crazy. with crazy have some horror stories don't be scared like some people are nice but i don't want to even go through i've PTSD. heard some horror stories like from savannah or even seen it physically myself like yeah. some people don't have home training and that's not normal remember look at where you're going to be studying as well because yeah. for us like um, there's a politics building which is a, not exactly near the city yeah. and because Enclave and Ranmore that we spoke about aren't near the city either that was fine because that made it was a 15 minute walk for me if you are literally doing engineering or something and you're more likely to have um, a further you know, walk from, yeah, from the, your what is it, the diamond to the you diamond have yeah. there. Then so, don't, yeah. you don't have to live in Enclave you could just live in a city accommodation yeah so city accommodations are basically accommodations that are in the city so they're close to like the shops and like main Kind of like main things happening but they're very much far away from like Cliff and Ranmore so mm -hmm. it really depends on your course that you're doing if you're doing Perfect politics yeah. sociology and just humanity based subjects the departments are a lot closer to the end Cliff and Ranmore yeah, but yeah. if you're doing degrees that are like I don't know technology robotics mechatronics all them mm -hmm. science-y expect to get the bus, Most <laughs> the the, bus a lot of people yeah. didn't mind yeah, yeah. it but just you know what if you know that you don't want to be traveling like that then Ages, don't, yeah. you don't have to do it and it's not Sheffield that. is a very hilly city oh my let gosh me, how did we forget let me tell you something Wait, the hills, the hills we're gonna see the cops we're gonna see our it. cows <laughs> our cows are deep our cows oh, are man. strong the hills in Sheffield, yeah, literally, you're walking uphill everywhere you're going because it is not it's easy, crazy. honestly, so put that into consideration. A 10 minute walk is a 15 minute walk with the hills because you're really panting mm. up them hills. If you want a fitness test, you want to work <laughs> on your fitness, come to the University of Sheffield. Your cows are going to be strong. You're strong, yeah. you're LT. <laughs> but yeah, Junk. that is that. Next, we're going to talk about neighbouring universities. Yes. Yeah, so in regards to neighbouring universities, Sheffield, I, I always say it's in an awkward place because it's not far away from, but not a lot of people know about Sheffield generally. Mm -mm. So we're close to like Manchester, Nottingham, Loughborough, Leeds, even, Leeds, even Leicester. Yeah. We're close. <laughs> <laughs> the, just checking them out basically is what we're saying because, you know, Sheffield's great, but, but it's exactly, just nice to yeah. use the opportunity while you're at uni to just explore and Most definitely, visit. And it sounds yeah. crazy, like I know it's not saying go to Spain and see, <laughs> go to Spain. Spain. but like it's still cool to look at different um, cities and exactly. what they have to offer, even different students, you know, and more time if you find you make friends in different places. What, what is it? Networking is network, your network. Yeah, your your network, your network is your. Oh, okay. That one. That I'm, one. Not, I'm all right. I'm all right. They know what we mean. They know what we mean. I'm right in here, yeah. but honestly take the time to really explore it's something i wish i did in first year sheffield itself has so much history mm. it's called the steel city like mm. bro the steel city like yeah a lot of history yeah a lot of history behind it places to go peak district yeah if you're into like nature and things like that like i don't like grass like that so i'm not really going like, into the peak district <laughs> but, i don't like grass but if, you're, if you're into things like that honestly it's so great the view is beautiful i think it's a really pretty city Mark botanical here. gardens yeah, the, the buses are very affordable they're like one pound twenty they literally got it down to one pound for students one pound student for students Sheffield is a lot cheaper to live in. If you um, want to save yeah, your peas, yeah. honestly, Sheffield is a really good university to like just stay and like save money while also having a great student experience. So mm -hmm. come here. There's multiple societies you can join. The ACS, the Caribbean sub, um, hip hop sub, mm, dance. There's like over 300 guys. Literally. We literally have the you know, a little flex, it's the best um, uni in the, the country SU. for students' uni. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have a cinema in the SU, like, come on. We have like... so much going on. Yeah. There's a K-pop society, like, 
it is endless so if you come here there's definitely a space for you and um what suits you of course um but feel free to like try something different exactly and yeah. you know i'd be surprised if they ask you for like two quid like membership and so on so, you know like choose you you'll start to learn obviously how to manage your money but do put money aside to be able to do those extra curricular things yeah, and don't get mad as well don't join 10 15 oh it's not possible like, i literally so, put my email in every single honestly, like, gymnastics just, this this have i been lower like, it down and see societies that you actually think you will like and you want yeah, to join yeah. in so this year, I don't even care what anyone has to say, but I'm a cheerleader, and that's not period. Okay, so okay. We're gonna see recording all of that. And you don't even have to be an expert. If you can just cat, go saber cat. Go saber cat. <laughs> if you can lift your leg, that's enough. Like Biggest fans, they right? have different, they have different levels for everyone. So honestly, even yeah. anything, the athletic club, you don't even need to be an expert runner. They have everything for everyone. So Savannah right here, it was is was the president of the kind of of the, uh, caribbean, caribbean society he's my treasurer you oh know, my god i'm handing all the peas <laughs> so so I was the president of the acs and the reason we were able to even have roles in the acs was because of the great part that the acs played in into like our first year our experience, first year experience. Really, yeah. the acs had that kind of sense of community it's not to say different societies and have their problems or improvement to be made mm -hmm. but honestly the ACS kind of gave me like a group of people who I could vibe with on a different level. Yeah. So yeah. just to say in Sheffield, the African Caribbean Society you can come here. We have games nights, mm -hmm. we have debates, like it is fun. Next question. So in terms of career prospects, we're all kind of not confused, but the whole point of coming to university is you're still navigating, you're still trying to see what I enjoy, what I don't enjoy, what mm -hmm. I want to be. And I don't think there's any pressure for you to know that right now because I certainly don't know myself mm. and this is my second day in university and do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Next this is the thing that's interesting, like it is intimidating to come in and some people know exactly what they want yeah. to be and especially if you're on a course, I guess like medicine where it's obvious, low key, like you're yeah, probably um, going to be yeah, a doctor yeah, yeah. of some sort. But I feel like um, it's definitely a case of be open-minded. Yeah. Um. I have a lot of. I know a lot of people that came in knowing exactly what they want to be, and then they found that a changes. module that exactly. changes. So right now, I can say for sure, second year, I'm a bit more. Um. I think I have a bit more of an inclination towards what I like. like whereas first year, exactly. I had no idea. Exactly. And so be open. But it doesn't mean I know. But it's better than first year. And yeah. so just expect that. As you start to go through the degree, yeah. you might start to see a bit more what you enjoy. Yeah, and I think that is something that I like about the University of Sheffield. As much as there's some downside, like it could definitely be more diverse and things like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's regards to like the options that you're provided with, because if you genuinely are proactive and you look, there is no way you won't find anything. We literally have a job shop that's dedicated to like looking for jobs, be yeah, it part-time yeah, jobs or even career-wise. So much opportunities. Like I was able to go to like a civil service event, for example. Yeah. On the university yeah. all paid for and i literally got so much insight it's better to know what you don't want to do rather than fixating on what you think you want to do but by the time you're taking all the list i don't want to do x i don't want to do y because you tried as much exactly as possible, yeah. and then you're gonna kind of like filter it down but yeah in regards to um careers prospect that is what we have on that thank you so much for tuning in guys don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm on the road to 1k i'm gonna be Woo! doing more good day break that some video and some more for 1k oh okay okay yes, no. <laughs> i'm gonna be doing more content to do with the university of sheffield as this is my last year i'm going into my last year and i just want to you know just photograph that in one place and my youtube channel will be the avenue for that so don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions about the university don't hesitate to ask someone and i and mm -hmm. that is the end of our video <laughs> bye